All new at 6, the number of reported cases of odometer fraud is on the rise here in Tampa Bay and all across the state. ITEAM INVESTIGATOR JACKIE CALLOWAY FINDS OUT HOW THIEVES ARE GETTING AROUND NEW TECHNOLOGY TO ROLL BACK THE MILEAGE ON CARS FOR SALE. PLUS WHAT YOU CAN DO TO PROTECT YOURSELF FROM THIS COSTLY RIPOFF. THIS 2007 DODGE CHARGER LOOKED GOOD FROM THE OUTSIDE. IT LOOKED LIKE IT HAD, YOU KNOW, BEEN TAKEN CARE OF, LOW MILEAGE. THIS CONTRACT STATES THE VEHICLE HAD 131,000 MILES ON IT LAST JUNE. THAT'S WHEN ROBERT STANETTE BOUGHT IT FROM A PASCO COUNTY CAR LOT. WHEN DID YOU FIRST GET AN INKLING THAT SOMETHING WAS WRONG? AFTER ABOUT PUTTING ABOUT FIVE GRAND IN REPAIRS INTO IT IN LESS THAN SIX MONTHS. ROBERT SHOWED US REPAIR BILLS INVOLVING WORK ON EVERYTHING FROM THE ENGINE TO THE SHOCKS IN THE WEEKS AND MONTHS AFTER PURCHASE. THEN HE CHECKED THE CHARGER'S HISTORY. I WAS PISSED. Excuse my language. <laughs> Robert's report and the car facts we obtained showed this Dodge had over 182,000 miles on it when it changed hands two owners ago. There's just this huge misconception that odometer rollbacks is a thing in the past and it doesn't happen with these newer digital odometers. According to Carfax, the number of tampered odometers in Florida jumped to 75,000, a 19% increase in 2020 compared to 2019. Carfax ranks Florida fifth in the nation when it comes to vehicles on the road with a rolled back odometer. This doesn't really leave any type of digital footprint. Josh Engel, owner of Atlanta Speedometer, says this tool, which is also used for legitimate instrument repairs, can be bought on the internet for a few hundred dollars and used by scammers to roll back mileage. 265,000 miles showing on the odometer. And with a push of a button after I input the value in there, we could take it back. Uh, we're going to go now to about 85,000 miles. This quick switch could cost the buyer of this pickup nearly $9,000 in the purchase price. And that's not counting the additional maintenance a high mileage vehicle requires. Vehicle with 85,000 miles that you think has 85,000 miles has a totally different maintenance schedule than a vehicle that has 265,000 miles on it. In Florida, checking the last recorded VIN on any vehicle is fast and free. Just log on to the Florida Highway Safety Motor Vehicles website and plug in the VIN. Locally, Carfax reports 18,300 vehicles on the road with a rolled back odometer in the Tampa, St. Petersburg, Sarasota area. That's a 16% jump from the previous year. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says that there are about 450,000 vehicles sold every year with an odometer rollback. The Carfax on Roberts Dodge warned of a potential odometer rollback alert in 2018 after a dealer reported an odometer reading of 126,000 miles, 60,000 miles less than was reported the year before. Then that vehicle was sold to a different car lot, which sold the vehicle to Robert. He says the dealer did not want to take the vehicle back. So I called and emailed the general manager asking that they come up with a resolution. As soon as you wrote them, it just like the lights came on, they decided to do something. In December, the car lot cut Robert a check for $7,000. That covered the price of the vehicle I paid, which was 5300 and change, and half of what I put into it. So it was really nice to have it behind me and actually know that someone's out there willing to help out the consumer. Before purchasing your next vehicle, pull a history or Carfax report. It's also a great idea to have a mechanic go over the car or truck, look for problems, and check for excessive wear on things like the brake pedal and the driver's seat that could indicate more mileage than what's showing up on the odometer. I'm my team investigator Jackie Calloway taking action for you.